All right, now Samsung did make some notable changes and added some new features on Samsung Notes application on the One UI 8.5. In today's video, we're gonna compare the brand new Samsung Notes application with the current version that we have on the stable version of One UI 8. Let's open the Notes application on both these phones. On the right hand side, we have got the One UI 8.5 and on the left hand side, we have got One UI 8.0. The first feature, when I press and hold on create note icon here, we now get import PDF option and note style option. Whereas on the current version that we have on One UI 8.0, if we press and hold on it, nothing happens here. We'll have to create a new node. And then when we tap on plus button here, we get this PDF option. And by tapping on this, we can import a PDF. Whereas now Samsung has given a quick access to importing PDFs right here on the create button itself. And we can also choose the node style before even creating a node. Whereas here on the previous version, we will have to get into the node and then tap on the three dot button here on the top right. And here we have got page template and edit cover settings. Whereas on the new version when I tap on note style here you can see we have a brand new layout over here and now the page templates are known as note style now let's see if we can change this inside the note let's go to this three dot button here and here on this menu you can see we have got search page sorter note style page settings whereas here we have got edit cover page sorter page template and page settings page template is nothing but note style and inside note style we now have edit cover option now let me tap on edit cover over here you can see this is the current version that we have we have got various different uh, styles for these covers. We've got text, illustration, pattern, none. Let me just go back here. Now let me tap on the page template here. And this is how we get the page template options. Whereas now on the newer version, let me tap on note style. We have got both the add cover option and page option right here. So now we are on the page option. I can scroll down here. These are the options which we already have here. And we also have a custom template on the current version. Whereas here we don't see that option uh, right now for some reason. And uh, let me tap on add cover here. And this is the brand new cover layout. Let me go back to the uh, three dot button here and tap on edit cover. This is the current version and this is the newer version. You can see we have got text under which we have got a few different options. We've got sticker as well. We can have a sticker right on top of the note as you can see on the note cover. Let me just change this. Here it is. This is an office bag icon as the sticker which we can have right here on the top right which we don't have it on the current version. So we can now add stickers and we can also change the colors of the notes here and select a specific uh, layout here as you can see the cover uh, image that you want. And on illustration we have got a few options and uh, pattern we have got a few options. We can select the one we want and tap on apply. That's how we do it. So that's the brand new note style option we now have on the One UI 8.5. Now let's take a look at the next new feature. Let me tap on plus button here. You can see we have got table which is now available on One UI 8.5's uh, latest note application. I can tap on table to select the rows and columns here. Let me select uh, maybe nine rows, sorry, eight rows and uh, maybe eight columns. Let's see how it looks. Tap on done. This is the table right over here. And if I want to adjust the table, I can do that as well. You can see I can expand the columns here. And here we have got this icon. When I tap on that, you can see this pop-up gives me options to add row, add column, delete table, and table style. Let me tap on table style. Let's see what we have. Okay, this is pretty nice. We have got highlight header row option. Let me enable this and highlight first column option, enable this and we have got some color options over here. And we have got some more tools here. We can increase or decrease the text size, bold, italic, and underline options. So all these tools are available. And we can also change the alignment of the text here. And we have got some uh, options here for the shapes of the table maybe, but these are not really working currently. Uh, maybe once I get this table version, I will be able to show you guys how this works. But definitely these are welcome changes. If you're someone who create tables on the Samsung Notes application, this is gonna be very useful. And if you're using Samsung DeX on the bigger screen on the monitor, it's very easy to format and use these tables on Samsung Notes. A pretty handy feature for sure. Next on this toolbar, we have got a brand new option now. You can see on the newer version, I got the text format here, which is not available on the previous version. As you can see, we've got heading two, heading three different sizes and a bold font for the heading two. If I select this and type, this is how it's gonna look. That will be my heading, right? So this is how we use this particular option, the text format option. That is something new here. And when I tap on the AI icon now, you can see uh, the background is brighter here on the newer version, whereas the other one was uh, slightly darker on 8.0. So that's a minor change there. 
Now let me tap on plus button over here. Let's see what has changed over here. We have got PDF option here, voice recording, image, camera, document scan, audio file, drawing, sticky notes, and table, which is the new option. And when I tap on the three dot button, we have got search option. Let me tap on search. You can see the search bar is right there about the keyboard, whereas the uh, current version on One UI 8.0, the search bar is right on top. And you can also see the back arrow here. It has got some background here. Now let me just go back and tap on the three dot button again. You can see some changes in this menu options. Like I mentioned, the edit cover and the page template both are inside note style now. And we have got the page sorter here and page settings over here, which are available on the current version as well. And then full screen, add to, share notes, whereas we have got collaborate option here. When I tap on collaborate, invite others to join, add to shared notebook. So these two options pop up, whereas here if I tap on shared notes, share a single note, add to shared notebook options pop up here. Then we have got the save as file option. We can tap on this to uh, save the file as PDF, Microsoft Word, etc. And uh, then we have got the turn on finger drawing option and turn on math solver option. Some people on X thought that math solver is on the newer version on the 8.5, but this has been there on One UI 8.0 as well. Next, let's go back. You can see here there are some changes. We have got the PDF option right over here on One UI 8.5. On the newer version, the PDF has been moved to this press and hold on the create button. And we also have date modified option and arrow here to sort these notes. You can see when I tap on date modified, it will give me options like title, date created, date modified. We can sort the, uh, uh, the notes here and we can use this arrow to get the ascending and descending orders of the notes based on the dates. Whereas now here on the newer version, I will have to tap on the three dot button and then tap on sort and this is the pop-up that I'm gonna see. Date created ascending, date created descending, date modified ascending and descending, and we have got name A to Z. So these are the options that we have. Similar, but uh, it is kind of, uh, you know, uh, modified, rejigged a bit, and uh, it looks much better on the newer version. What Samsung is trying to do here is it is making everything seamless and super easy to use on One UI 8.5. Next, when we tap on the hamburger menu, you can notice that there is frosted glass effect right here for the menu option. Let's hope Samsung implements this uh, across the UI on all the applications as well as the settings. You can see this yellow effect here. This is the note which is in the background. So uh, this is the frosted glass effect now we have got on the newer version. Next, when we select a specific note, you can see we've got this uh, frosted glass effect here on this floating island as well. This is the new design which we see across the UI on almost all the applications. Whereas on the One UI 8.5, this is how it looks. Actually, the new one looks pretty cool. And this also has got this frosted glass effect. The options are same, no changes there. Let me tap on the three dot button. Here you can see Samsung has again simplified this. Save as file option is there, save as option is there, duplicate note, add to favorites and details. And here you can see share as single note, add to shared notebook that has been implemented in the menu options on the newer version. And the move to secure folder option for some, uh, some reason is not showing up on the new version. Let's hope Samsung adds that option. Maybe it is hiding somewhere, I'm not very sure, but right now I can't see that on this menu uh, pop up here on this area. That's what it is. These are some changes and some improvements which Samsung has done on the One UI 8.5's notes application. Let me know what are your thoughts, drop a comment, and while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button to become a part of Apex community, give this video a like, and if you have not uh, downloaded our wallpaper application Wallverse yet, go ahead. The link is in the description. These beautiful wallpapers that you see on the home screen here are all from the Wallverse wallpaper application. Check it out, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers, bye-bye.